Hey everyone, so in this video, I will show you how to create a revenue distribution or any any total percentage um, of a dimension per month. So let me show you what I mean by that. Um, so over here we have a data set um, that contains, uh, let's say, revenue by revenue type and date, right? So it's all over the same date range. Uh, and as you can see, we have four different revenue type. The goal here is to see the split of the revenue per month over time. And that by default is not possible in Looker Studio. So let me show you what exactly I mean by that. Let's say you were trying to do that in Looker Studio. So I went ahead and connected to the right data source. So it's the same data source. I would set the date range dimension per month. Um, both in both places here, I have my breakdown and revenue. All right. So how would I go about that? Uh, maybe you're thinking about this feature here where you can go and choose comparison calculation percent of total. But here's what it's, it returns. It returns the percentage split by month, but over the total amount of revenue. It is not isolated per month. What, I, what I'm interested in is knowing the, the exact split for each month to see the progression. So let's say I, I would like to know how much recurring revenue we had. What's the percentage of recurring revenue we had in January and then the next month and next month, not over the total amount of that period. Uh, another way of doing that would be to use a stack bar chart and just have that set to none and we could set that to, uh, let's say, show data label and not stack. We want the metric value, but instead in percentage. So that works. Every, every month uh, displays a, a total 100%, but it might be hard to see the pro progression over time um, of this. When it's, when it's displayed like this. We'd like to have a, a line chart where it's easy to see the progression and also we could even add um, trend lines. So how can we go about this? This is what I'm going to be showing you. Uh, so let's do it. All right, so the first thing you'll wanna do is just connect to your data source and set this configuration um, over here, right? So date year, month, date year, month, you have your breakdown dimension. In your case, it might be country, it might be device, device type, whatever the breakdown dimension you want to have. And here you're going to have your revenue. So now let's make a copy of this. Line chart over here. Again, it's the same configuration. The only difference is that you're going to remove that breakdown dimension and you're going to rename this one, let's say combined um, or total revenue. So this one is not broken down by, um, by revenue type. And then you're going to click on this one, control and click on the second one, then right click and blend data. All right. So now we're going to go here and change that again to year month. All right. We're going to add the revenue type dimension. And now we're going to create a calculated field, set it to percentage and 
we're going to do a sum of revenue divided by the sum of total revenue, which is the other table that we created. Click apply. And there you have it. All right. So now let's say we want to validate that we have the correct numbers. So let's let's take this one here and change it to a table. All right, then we just want to remove this and we're going to copy and paste that again. Let me get rid of this one. And in this one, we will be including the revenue type. And let's just do a quick spot check here. So we know the total revenue is 435,184. Uh, 435, and we know that for August, recurring revenue was that amount over here. All right, so let's just do a simple calculation. 175, 721 divided by 435, 184 times 100, we get 40.38%. And this is for August recurring revenue. So if we scroll over there, and if we hover over there, we get this exact number. So this is how you do it. And um, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Uh, just a neat little trick. And uh, I will be posting some more on my YouTube channel. So stay tuned. All right. Cheers.